Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I have a Batman-sized update for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Well, as many of you know, the Aquaman sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, is due to hit theaters this upcoming March. After being shifted around a couple of times, the James Wan sequel is finally going to hit theaters, and Jason Momoa will return to the role as Arthur Curry. Now, if you remember correctly, the film actually finished shooting way back in January. James Wan actually made a big announcement on his Instagram, and it appeared the film was moving into post-production. Now, it's not unusual for these movies to have some reshoots, so we have to look at this in the proper context. And the fact they're shooting more material shouldn't be a big deal. Except, a leaked set video featuring Ben Affleck basically became a full post from Jason Momoa yesterday over on his Instagram. Now, this seemed to confirm that at least for this movie, Ben Affleck is back as Bruce Wayne. I guess the question is whether he'll suit up as Batman or not, but it does mean he's going to have a little more time in the DCEU. But is he back in the DCEU? Well, quite honestly, I think probably not. As many of you know, Michael Keaton is taking over the role of Batman in The Flash. That will be a Flashpoint event, seeing Ezra Miller's Barry Allen go back in time and it completely adjusts the DC timeline. We do know Keaton is going to be a huge part of the Batgirl movie coming up next year. So why are we seeing Ben Affleck on set now if Michael Keaton's the new Batman? Well, there's a good reason for this, and as many of you know, the DC schedule has been shifted around quite a bit to accommodate all the visual effects. Actually, Aquaman took quite a hit there, and unlike the previous release schedule where it was due to come out after The Flash, now it will come out about four months before The Flash. It is very likely that there are a couple scenes in this movie featuring Keaton's Batman because it was supposed to be a follow-up to The Flashpoint event. I actually believe these are being reshot due to the schedule change to help Warner Brothers maintain the continuity of their DC universe. It really wouldn't make a lot of sense to have Keaton in this movie as Batman before he returns as Batman in the Flashpoint movie next year. Many of us comic fans might be able to follow along, but general audiences would be thoroughly confused. Now, I know many of you are pretty excited about the possibility of Affleck returning as Batman, but I don't think this means Ben is back beyond what we're seeing right here. Now, let's be fair, it's totally possible he could return as the Cape Crusader. There are massive shakeups going on at Warner Brothers right now, and new management is inbound for DC Films, so only time will tell. But, I truly believe that this is some reshoots for Aquaman to align to the current release timeline. Like I said, it would make no sense to have Keaton in this movie at this point, and they're likely just tightening up a couple of these details. Now I know many of you want to maintain faith that Ben could return, and I, will, and I really do like his version of the Batman, but I do not think this is what that means. Now we're going to continue to follow everything Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, as well as the possibilities of Ben Affleck returning as Batman. So if you want to get all of your Aquaman and Batman updates, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and don't miss any of the updates. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about Ben Affleck making another appearance in the DCEU as Bruce Wayne? And do you think this is an indicator that Ben is back permanently, or is this just a one-off to make sure continuity is maintained? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.